When asked, um, I am watching foreign nations, groups, individuals cite his disclosures and saying we need to change the way we operate. Okay, the Americans have insight here. We need to do something differently. So you think that potential threats are operating differently because of what I they am know watching now from Ed those Perkins. foreign in, in intelligence and counterterrorism targets, some of them, I'm not going to make a blanket statement again, everybody's changing everything, but I'm watching them um, highlight the revelations, talk about their implications to them and what they do and how they communicate. Um, that is unsettling to me as an individual charged with generate knowledge and insight that helps this nation understand the world around it and increases our ability to forestall attempts on the part of others to do harm to us, our interests, and our allies. That makes the job harder. Sure. Any idea how many documents he took? Um, we, we have a fairly good idea again. I'm, I'm not going to get into the specifics of all this. Because I, I'd be the first to admit, one of the things that I try to tell the workforce out there is this is not what is going to define us. We cannot go into this hunch down crunch. We have an important mission. We've got to keep doing the mission, and we've got to do it right. That's what matters to me. Did you watch uh, Ed Snowden's interview on NBC? No, to be honest, I, to be honest, I was traveling at the, at the time it came on. I've seen clips of it subsequently. Mm -hmm. but You've I seen some clips. I mean, so, so what was your impression of him in those clips? Did he seem prepped? Did he seem coached? What's your thought? I don't know. That's not my place. I, I thought, again, I think he had to be very balanced. Mm -hmm. I thought he's an intelligent individual, articulate. Um, he seemed fairly arrogant to me. Um, he believes, clearly believes in what he's doing. I don't question that. I don't agree with it. I fundamentally disagree with what he did. I believe it was wrong. I believe it was illegal from my perspective. He stole sensitive information that, that he had been entrusted with. He abused the trust of his workplace colleagues in doing so. Um, Do you really believe he, he fundamentally believes in what he did, or do you think he could have been working for someone else as a double agent? Could he have? Uh, possibly. Do I believe that that's the case? Probably not, but I would, I, would, I would caution everyone. Look, we've got a set of processes that will deal with this issue in the long run, and that's the way we need to go. Um, as citizens, we are free to express our opinions. That's a real strength for us as a nation. The challenge in my mind is we cannot function as a society if every one of us unilaterally decides I'm right, everyone else is wrong, and I am going to disregard the law and decide what I'm going to agree to adhere to or not adhere to. I spoke with your predecessor, Keith Alexander, uh, just yesterday on the phone, and he expressed the concern that he thought uh, Ed Snowden was at some point, it's a question of when, working for someone else. Um, possibly the Russians, he might be working for them right now. I mean, do you think that's a theory that's important to explore right There's now? There's plenty How did of he theories. Of the Clearly, we're going to need to run it all the ground. You know, my comment would be, be part of the dialogue. If you believe in this, use the power of the law and the structures of our society to make your case. The answer is not for any one of us to unilaterally decide that I'm the all-knowing oracle who knows everything, that I'm in the best position to decide what is right or wrong. Be leery of a society in which everyone unilaterally can do that. We love to quote the Constitution. That document provides a framework for us as to how we're going to organize as a government, as well as how we're going to settle disputes through this framework we call the law. How is it that a guy like Ed Snowden gets essentially kicked out of the CIA. There was a derogatory report written about him, uh, concerns that he was trying to break into systems at the <clears> CIA, <throat> and then he winds up working for the NSA. I, I mean, in terms of background checks, what's done? What needs to change so you don't have another Edward Snowden? I mean, you already have members of the workforce saying, now let me understand this. I haven't done anything wrong. And yet you're taking increased security measures. Hey, why am I paying the price for this? You're doing this right now right. at the NSA. Why should I be questioned because of the actions of one individual? So it's always about trying to find that, that balance. Mm -hmm. Now, at some point, I hope, in our time, we're actually going to talk about cybersecurity. We and, will. We will. Well, of course we will. Because we are but rapidly I, running I, out I, of time I, there, young I, lady. I, <laughs> um, 
but it, you gotta it's love that curious. direct part about Emma Rogers. It <laughs> always is very direct. It, 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 it's just curious that, that that it seems as though one agency is not necessarily talking to the other, because couldn't you have learned this is a guy who who's got something on his record? Right. I mean, don't get already. me wrong. Clearly, we wish we had known that. But um, on the other hand, again, he was a contract. It wasn't an employee of ours. Now he had access to our system. So don't get me wrong. We granted him access. Um, Are you 100% confident that you have no Edward Snowdens in your ranks right now? Would I ever? I would never tell you that. <laughs> I mean, my question would be, what idiot would mm -hmm. say something like that? So um, what have you changed? Uh, there, are few, um, there are few certainties in the world. Um, so how about that cybersecurity piece? Could we really get <laughs> we, we will talk trash. about it. I got, really I got one more question that? for you, though, just on Ed Snowden, and we'll move on. Um, in terms of amnesty, um, would you consider amnesty <coughs> in exchange <coughs> for him turning back all the documents that he took? That's not my decision, but in the digital age we're living in, the idea of controlling once it's out there, I think it's very problematic. 